round robin. I mean, you know, we're, we're going to have to, you know, take on um, um, take on um, um, the Raiders and get ready for them, and then we'll we'll, we'll worry about the the next five games. Ron, what do you make of like, you're pretty much in that position though? Like, even if you don't win all five of the games, like you maybe needed to earlier in the year, you're still in this position. So, what do you make of the kind of the hole that you guys dug yourself out of? Um, well, we're not out of it completely, you know, but. Um, you know, unfortunately, it was about learning and growing, and it was all part of the, the process that we've had to go through to develop as a team. I mean, it, it really wasn't going to happen overnight. I mean, you know, I know last year, and, and a lot of people I talked about early, and I got people got upset with me, but that's ball. I mean, it's just the way it is. That's the truth of the matter, and just being honest. I think we're coming together and being the kind of team that we envisioned, and if we can continue to work and play the way we've played, we give ourselves a chance, and that's all we need is a chance. Well, I wouldn't say that, Darren. I, I think it's just, you know, when, when, when you work hard and, and the guys do the things that we ask and, and it starts to come, then you see it because of that, because of, of what we've done. I, I don't think there's a real magic formula as much. It's just about working hard. I mean, if you watch the way they practice, you know, I know you guys can't, but if you saw it, you, you know, it's impressive. Um, it really is. I've had, when, when we've had the production crews that come and they watch practice, they watch the Friday practice, and they go, God, you guys are, you know, regular. Well, that's what I learned from Andy Reid. I mean, you know, Friday is an important day, and we've got to practice the right way, and the guys do that. And we've done it all year, you know, and, and now I think we're starting to see it come together. Brian, what do you think about Taylor's performance? I thought Taylor was sharp. You know, there were a couple things I know he'd like to have back. The one he threw to Logan that got intercepted, he was late on it, and he knows he was. Um, you know, part of the problem was Bobby Wagner rolled underneath perfectly and, and, and forced him to, uh, to, 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 to pump it once and then try to throw it, and it was, by then it was late. If, if, if he had thrown that earlier, Bobby might have knocked it down, um, but he tried to force it. That's probably one of the big mistakes he made all day. Um, other than that, I thought he was, he, was, he was solid. He managed the game the way we needed it managed. Um, and, and then he made a couple plays when we needed the plays made. Before J.D. McKissick went out of the game, I'm just curious, what did you, before J.D. McKissick went out of the game with the injury, what did you think of his contribution? Randy Jordan said he's one of the best pass catching running backs in the league. Oh, he really is. I, I think he's one of the most versatile guys in the league. I mean, he's, he's a threat first, second, or third down. He's a guy that really, you know, um, you, you, you want to have there as much as possible. And you know he's, he's, he's a resilient player. Can you mention players getting more comfortable with each other out there? Do you see ways where Well, um, yes, and, and I think now getting you know both Logan and Curtis back are, will open up some more things even even more so. I thought he did a nice job rolling people and keeping guys fresh, and, and that was important just to see how those guys really um, responded when they got their opportunities. And I think it makes for a, a, a lot more competition in terms of just when you get your chance, you've got you know you're out on the field, you got to produce. With, with Antonio, with how much of it for him is you know talk about sort of the maturity, you've got to pressing the hole of the center, a little bit more physical. But that shin, you see a big difference with, with being healthier. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the, the last time he, you know, he, he was he was feeling, you know, where he was struggling. You know, he, he wasn't as productive. But lately, he's really been feeling good. I mean, he played a heck of a football game too. He really did. Very physical game. He played downhill. Um, and again, you know, they got very stout at one point, especially third and short. They were very stout, and we got to be better up, uh, you know, on third and shorts. That's for sure. Um, but you know there were some really good things, and and you know it, it was unfortunate on the on the toss or the uh, outside run, you know, I, I just thought the way the, the the defender came into Brandon, I, I don't know if, if it was as much just the reaction to the way he hit Brandon, but it's unfortunate because JD made a heck of a run. Ron, this is the first time that this is the first time Washington has won a Monday Night Football game at home since 2012. Um, I'm sure you guys know, but that was the last time they had that big playoff that big playoff push. They won three in a row. I'm just curious, context of the history. How much does it mean when you think about it in that context that you guys have put yourself in this position? This is very similar, and this is the first time in almost a decade that you guys have won a big one in that whole game. Well, I'm very proud of these guys just because of how resilient we were, how, how tough it was, and, and just doing the things they needed to do to give themselves a chance to win. And, and as I said, you know, all they need is a chance. And, and I really think this is a, a group of guys that will just continue to be resilient. I mean, you know, we're down to our fourth center. So, you know, that, that, was, that was pretty big of Keith coming in and playing the way he did. So, you know, just very proud of these guys. 
All right, here you go. You see it's been different. As we've said, look, and this is not like this has been three bad offenses. This started with Tampa, and they have Tom Brady and everybody else. And they only scored 19 against football team. And then Carolina, that's when, you know, Cam Newton was going back in and I'm back and they were all pumped up. And now it's Russell Wilson in prime time. It's Pete Carroll. It's on Russ's birthday when Seattle had to have it. And you see, they're giving up almost nothing. And with the exception of one play late where they sort of, you weren't sure what was going on, they gave up a late touchdown. They were immaculate tonight on defense. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.